Hi, it's me, Waffles. In this video, I'm going to be talking about data pack tags. Uh, this is not to be confused with uh, uh, selector tags. It is not that kind of thing. Uh, it's stuff like block and item tags. So for example, if I search hashtag flower, you can see all of the flowers in the flower tag. You're gonna need to know this for stuff like crafting, and it also determines stuff like which blocks you can build beacons out of and stuff like that. And two other important things that are going to come up in future videos are uh, you're going to need the for Infiniburn block tags in custom dimensions, and you're also going to need it for uh, getting structures to spawn. So you'll notice that here I have an example data pack set up. I've got a pack.mc meta file, and if you don't know how to use that, there will be a iCard up here. Um, and I have a data folder inside of my main data pack folder. And then I have my uh, namespace, which is tutorial for this data pack because it's a tutorial. So since what we are doing is data pack tags, I'm going to create a new folder named tags. And that's basically where all the tags are going to go. So before I actually get started with showing you how to make and modify tags, I'm going to explain um, how you are going to need to place them within this folder. You're going to need to organize your tag files um, in the right folders in order to make sure that they work properly. So I'm just going to create a new folder. You have several options for what you can name this. You can name this blocks and this is for block tags. And the way the game uses these are like, for example, the blocks that you're allowed to make a beacon base out of and the blocks that you're allowed to uh, summon a wither out of, like uh, soul sand and soul soil. And the game even uses block tags to tell you which blocks you're allowed to mine with which tools. For a full list, uh, you can check out the tutorial in the iCard up here to see how to get all of the vanilla data files and stuff, and that will be in, of course, data, minecraft, tags, blocks. Or for any of the other folders I talk about, it'll be in those folders, of course. Um, but moving on from blocks, there is also items, and item tags are mainly used in crafting, so for example, you can turn any planks you want into sticks, and I believe that is what stuff like the planks tag is used for. Uh, you can also search for these things in the creative inventory using a hashtag before the name of the tag, so you can do hashtag flower to search for flowers, and so if you just want to do something like that, this is also helpful for that. This can also be entity underscore types. So for example, uh, there's one of these for all of the raiders that are allowed to spawn in raids and stuff, and it is used for allowing uh, bees to go into beehives. Probably modify that tag to let other mobs into beehives. I haven't tested that though, and I would sure hope that doesn't work because that would be really, really weird. There is fluids, and I'm not exactly sure what this is used for, but of course, you can probably guess what the game's fluids tags are. There's water and flowing water in the water tag, and there's lava and flowing lava in the lava tag. Then there is game underscore events, and this is used for stuff like the skulk vibrations, so it lists a bunch of game events that can cause the skulk to pick up a vibration, so for example, breaking blocks and stuff. Uh, if you just want to look at that, then you can go check out the vanilla uh, data files and stuff, which as I said, I have a tutorial on how to get those. And then there are two more. There is functions, and basically what functions tags do is it uh, will run a specific function, uh, you can specify, like, a tag for a function, and if you then run that command, it'll run all of the functions in that tag at once. And there are two uh, vanilla function tags for tick and load. While they aren't actually used in the game because there are no functions in the game, if you have ever made a function data pack, you know that you can use these to run functions at specific times. And you might not know that you can use a command to actually run the load functions or whatever whenever you want by specifying a specific function tag to run. And then lastly, there is WorldGen. And WorldGen is used for, uh, well, world generation. One of the main things it's used for is determining which biomes can uh, load certain structures. So for example, you would have a list of biomes in a tag, then you would specify in the structure which of those tags. So for example, the Bastion Remnant can generate in most nether biomes. So now that I've explained all the categories, the stuff that actually goes into this is pretty simple. So I'm just going to name this back to items, and I'm going to use it to create some random item tag. I'm not exactly sure what, but I will figure it out as I go along. I'm just going to create a new file, and I'm just going to name it uh, Waffle. 
dot json and of course you need to follow the naming rules so this needs to be uh, all in lowercase letters or numbers and no special characters except for underscores so the file itself is really simple um you're just going to need some curly brackets and in there you're going to need in quotation marks uh replace and this is either going to be true or false uh, you're probably going to want to set it to false and i will go over this in just a second first i'm going to um, make another section called values uh, this is going to need square brackets and in here is where we're going to need to put all of the stuff in the tag so let me just um, put the minecraft diamond item minecraft stick and how about also minecraft potato i am not doing very good at typing today <laughs> so all of these can be either uh, file locations like minecraft diamond or they can be other tags say i also wanted to add the um let's say hashtag minecraft planks you'll see that it will include all of the wooden planks as well as all of these things because it's referencing another tag that exists. So this right here is the default vanilla Minecraft planks tag, uh, and as you can see, it lists all of the wooden planks in the game. So by including the hashtag planks here, I am including this entire file. You can optionally also add another section in curly brackets with quotation marks um, ID, let's say Minecraft Acacia button. And then next you're going to put required, uh, and then this can be true or false. And I think this is only necessary for if you're using modded items or something. So for example, if I had a mod named Waffle Mod, um, and if I'm trying to find the waffle item, basically what this is going to do is include the waffle item inside of my item tag. Um, but since this is a modded item if the mod doesn't exist then um including it here could screw some stuff up so i can make this not required which means that uh if this item just doesn't exist in the game it ignores this little section right here but if i make it required true if this item doesn't exist then it makes the entire tag invalid so if this part is really important and it doesn't exist then the entire tag won't load um, and I'm just assuming that's what this is for, so you can ignore that if you are doing a vanilla data pack, I believe. Anyways, so that brings me to the replace value, which I ignored earlier, because it will be easier to explain what it is now. So this replace value basically doesn't do anything in a custom tag, but if I'm replacing a vanilla tag, I have a video on how to modify vanilla uh, data, I believe. I don't know if that video is only for world generation because I don't remember it was a while ago when I made it, but I'll try to link it in an iCard here. But say I want to modify a vanilla tag if I make this Minecraft instead of my custom namespace and then a new folder tags uh, items. Then let's see which item do I want to make it. How about I want to mess with the trapdoors tag. So if I go ahead and get that folder for trapdoors and drag it into here to copy it, You'll see that this is the vanilla trapdoors tag, but say I want to modify this and get rid of the wooden trapdoors tag. So if I do that, I'm now replacing the trapdoors tag with this new tag that um, makes it only iron trapdoors. However, uh, replace is set to false, and what that means is it will not replace the existing values with the stuff I have here. It will only add them. So if I made this let's say iron door instead. That means that instead of replacing the wooden trapdoors and iron trapdoor with the iron door, it will add the iron door to the list, making it wooden trapdoors, iron trapdoors, and iron doors. But if I want to completely replace the list with iron doors, I can set this to true, which means that um, it'll just replace all the values with the ones here. So that usually doesn't apply to your own data pack. But it's always good to set replace to false just in case there's some conflicting stuff somewhere somehow. There's not really a reason to set it to true unless you are in the scenario that I just described. But it's probably good that I just showed you how to uh, mess with the vanilla tags because that means you're going to be able to do stuff like um, change which blocks are allowed to spawn the wither and spawn the beacons and stuff. And you can even make structures generate in different places. This is a list of all the tags. So if I go to world gen and then buy 
biome and then has structure. Uh, if I then open this with code in this new little window here, you'll see that these are all the biomes that the pillager outpost is allowed to generate in. So if you just wanted to remove the pillager outpost, you could do what I just did with the Minecraft namespace uh, and put the pillager outpost in there and just delete all of these like that and then set replace to true and that would just remove the pillager outpost from your world entirely or you could add more biomes and set replace to false and that would just add it to more biomes in your world you can also do that with these different villages to add villages to the wrong biomes or something which i don't know would just be weird i'm not sure why you would want to do that but you have the option so someone probably will and just remember that's going to need to go in data minecraft tags world gen biome has structure to replace the vanilla one instead of data tutorial tags items or whatever so i've opened up the data pack folder for this world and i'm going to paste the one i made in um then click it over here to enable it okay with the world loaded up if i go to search items and i type hashtag waffle uh you will see it has all of the wood planks and diamonds and a stick and a potato and if i had done block tags or something looking down at this block in the debug screen if i had put oak leaves in a block tag uh, it would show up on the right under hashtag Minecraft Lava Pool Stone Cannot Replace. So as I said, you can use these for crafting. You can use them for uh, setting like block events like uh, which blocks can summon the wither and which blocks can uh, create beacons. And you can also use tags for a bunch of other stuff. Um, all of the things that I talked about earlier and more. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything that I covered in this video, or if you have anything you want me to talk about in future videos, then you can talk to me in the comments, or you can join my Discord server in the description and talk to me about it there. I would like to thank my patrons, Sayori, mlo 40 and Tonta Turner. They are supporting my server at the Waffles SMP to make it better, and I really appreciate it. As always, I hope you have a great day, and thank you so much for watching.